We're here with Tony Ward in Paris after his show and it was absolutely amazing and such a strong collection that we see here behind us. Uh, can you talk about your inspiration with the minerals and your uh, meeting with Salim Edda and how he inspired you? Um, yes, actually I, I met with Salim uh, three months ago after having visited his museum. He has the third biggest collection of minerals in the world. And he's a maniac with these uh, auctions on the stones. He follows. Sometimes he says he waits 10 years to get a stone. Uh, auctions on it takes a lot of time. So we went in his muse museum. I worked. I spent a day there, where I mm, took the inspiration a lot from the colors, from the cuts, from the, um, um, if you want, from mixture of the volumes and. The, um, and how, how the color can come into a volume and give a fake look. A lot of effects of um, origami that went out from this and I got inspired from this collection and so I went out with a very hectic collection and uh, very couturish. Uh, it took a lot of work but uh, we ended up with this, uh, with this beautiful show. Well, you can to totally see it in your collection as well, and the way it flows, and the way that also you said you wanted to resemble it to resemble flowing lava. Some of the dresses. So you know, we took stones, we broke them, we put them like in a special machine to give them this uh, uh, like sand, but it still has the shiny part of it. We painted, we used into the painting the stones, and that gave. The, the volume that you saw on the dresses. So a lot of dresses you are really happy because they're painted with the stones, with the real stones uh, that ended up with this look. We cut, we cut a, a, a stone and we had the, this uh, circle look and you know when you cut a stone you have you see a lot of um, levels with the life of a stone with millions of years coming there. So we just reproduced that on a, on a material, on a very beautiful material, um, all very couture with the, with the threads, with gold threads inside, with silver threads, and did all this work that is with the draping, with the corset that gives the look of a simple and a very, very edgy one. If you look on a dress like this, this is almost two months of work. This is all Charleston. It's heavy because there is around I would say there's around uh, 12,000 stone on this dress and all the bottom of the dress is, all, the, all this dress is painted and over the painting there's the charleston and it's lined with a special, um, specially designed lace to, to, that recalls the stones and the minerals and end up with these volumes that are draping of layers and layers of, uh, of uh, years and years on a stone. And there was, uh, well, there were, was one dress that wasn't the wedding dress that got a lot of applause, and that was the white one, the white flowing one, when, when she came out with the white flowing one with the blue on the bottom. No, I was on the backstage, so... It's a painting dress with, a, with an amazing uh, embroidery that comes linking the blue to the white. It's very simple, but it's very floaty and very couturish. It, it filled the space uh, like nothing. This is another material that was created for the collection and it's an effect of lace actually that comes all around and the stones with the, from the grey blue to the, to the brownish and the, the volume of the, of the color, it's, nothing is beaded, it's all very soft dress but still it's, um, it looks like a, a, wrapping, a wrapping draping of, of a stone. That's, uh, the whole volume is all about this. If you check the wedding dress, I'm not gonna hold it, this is really heavy. It's all painted, there are caviar stones. These are the stones that we, I told you that we broke them and gave very small. We, we painted and put the caviar inside and we put all these rolling material of Organza. There is around 300 meters of material just on this thing. 300 meters of material? I had a girl for three months only doing these small things. And you have levels shorter, higher, softer. And since you have this uh, multicultural background in a way, and with all your traveling and everything, 
What do you bring into your fa- uh, your clothes with their background? Clothes is a is a mirror of uh, personality of his design of the designer, mm-hmm. and it's only a way how you imagine the woman and um, how you want her to be, and it's a. Uh, uh, It's a learning process. You can't say this is what I want, and only stupid people want change. Every season, we learn new things. We meet new clients. We have new horizons. As you say, I travel out. Sometimes I do Russia and Moscow, Russia and New York, I mean, Moscow and New York in in, in four days. Uh, I'm passing by Paris, doing Beirut or Dubai. Uh, it means that you meet a lot of different people, and you get to see what they need and that. You need to cater somewhere what they do. We we do we design dresses for people, not only for us. Well, thank you very much for inviting us here today, and and thank there was a beautiful, here. interesting collection. Thank you.